uh, visitors should come and see the howlers because this is a great uh, experience for us and that the National Zoo has had howlers in the past, but this is our first birth. Uh, we had births over 25 years ago, but none of the young had survived past a couple of days. So this is our first successful birth, so that's a great accomplishment for the National Zoo. The baby's personality is hard to tell so far. Um, been pretty shy and holding on the mother's chest. That's normal in the parental care. Uh, but a little bit um, curious and wants to venture off, but mother's been very protective. The father's name is Pele and the mother's name is Chula. They're both doing great as first-time parents. Um, they are both very attentive to the baby and uh, very caring and loving. Before the baby was born, the mother was uh, appeared to be shy and timid, and the male uh, was kind of the outgoing one. And since the baby's been born, the mother has stepped up and been very attentive to the baby and not letting the father get too close. Their main distinctive thing is their call. Their howl, the monkeys, the howl. The howl kind of gives them their name. Uh, it's one of the loudest and longest heard of all land animals. They use it to communicate with each other to alert other groups of howlers. All howler monkeys, are, or black howler monkeys, are born uh, blonde, the color of the mother. The male is black and the mother is blonde. They live primarily the first you know, three or four months, depending on how adventurous the baby is, on their mother's chest. So the, the blonde baby blends in with the blonde mom and it's very hard to tell that there's even a baby there. This would protect them in the wild and as the baby ages, because this one's a male, will turn black. The transition starts at a little bit around a year and then gradually he'll turn black until he's completely black at about two years of age. <laughs> 